Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyla and I am oh so excited to have you join us today. Alright guys, so we have a very exciting announcement. We are extremely close to 100 subscribers and I have a big video planned once we hit that milestone. So if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can become a member of the KSUS fam. We would love to have you. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about names and the process that I go through when picking full names for my American girls. If you did not know, aside from being an avid doll collector, I am also an avid writer and Sims player, so I'm constantly looking for names, whether it be for my dolls, my Sims, or my characters. The four things I like when picking a name are I'm a fan of old-fashioned names, long names, um, unique spellings, and just unique names overall. Now, that's not to say that all of my dolls have super long, old-fashioned, unique names that nobody's heard of before, but some of their names are not very common. And myself, my name, Kyla, is not very common, so that's probably where I get it from because I'm unique and I want my girls to be unique as well. All right, so basically what I do when I pick a name for my girls, I like them to all have um, first, middle, and last names, and I like at least some part of the name to be meaningful since I'm obviously going to keep these dolls forever and they're going to be with me for the rest of my life so I want them to have some significant meaning to me other than you know them just being a special doll that I got at a time in my life if that makes sense so I like to at least name them after a person in my life um someone I look up to like a celebrity as like a role model or something or um, a place that I've been that was significant in my life, or even I do uh, fictional characters a lot. I will name a lot of my dolls have names from fictional characters. So um, my first 11 dolls, actually, I they were all historical, so I never um, changed their names or anything like that. So they're not going to be included in this video. Um, also, a couple Girl of the Years will not be in here because I didn't change their names at all. I just gave all those dolls middle names, and you will learn their middle names um, very, very soon. We're going to start with Penelope Rose Ewing. Penelope is extremely special to me because she was the first custom I ever purchased, and I was very, very nervous getting her, but the second I took her out of the box, I knew that we had like this instant connection, if you will. <laughs> Um, and I knew I wanted her name to be something very, very special. I did name her something else for like a day and I posted it on Instagram and then I took it down because I'm like, no, that's not you. You need to be something, you know, that's very, very close and dear to my heart. And that is where her last name comes in. Ewing is the last name of the family of my favorite TV show, Dallas. And I've actually been to um, the South Fork Ranch. I went for the 40th reunion, so I'm a huge Dallas fan. And I feel like Penelope is such a name that, like, the Ewings would probably name their child. Um, they're very, you know, they're fancy, rich people. And I feel like Penelope is definitely something that my favorite couple, JR and Sue Ellen, would have named their daughter had they had one. Um, as for Rose, she has red hair, and that is my favorite flower, so um, her name is kind of self-explanatory. Like, if you know me personally and you see her last name is Ewing, you'll, like, know instantly. Here is Nyla Evangeline Forbes, and Nyla's name, actually, it took me a little while to come up with it. The first time I ever heard it was um, from The 100. There's a character on there named Nyla, and my doll is not named after her, actually. She's named after the Lioness and the Lion King, and I know her name is Nala, but I wanted it to be a little bit more unique, so that is why I chose the name Nyla. And um, The Lion King is definitely a classic, and it was one of my favorite childhood movies growing up. So. Um, that's where her first name came from. Evangeline, there's really no um, significant meaning with that. I just really like it because it's a very long, pretty, unique name. And I just thought it sounded really beautiful with Nyla. Uh, Forbes comes from Caroline Forbes from The Vampire Diaries. She's my favorite character. And um, I just thought it sounded really, really good. Just the whole Nyla, Evangeline, Forbes. Next, we have um, Joss Kendrick girl of the year 2020 whom I renamed Marnie Marie Winters 
When I first got her, I was not sure if I was going to keep her name. I'm not really a fan. I probably would have just called her Jocelyn. But after weeks of considering it, I thought she looked like a Marnie. And the first time I ever heard this um, was on Halloween Town. And I thought it was a really cool name. I've never actually used it before, but I, for some reason, I just felt like it fit the doll and her face mold and her hair and everything. I just felt like it fit her really, really well. Um, as for her middle name, Marie, it's way more common than what I'm used to doing, but it is in honor of my cousin. Her middle name is Marie and she is one of my best friends and I thought I would, you know, honor her. So that's where her middle name comes from. And Winters is actually in honor of my dog because my dog's name is Winter and I um, thought it would be perfect because I also got her in the winter because I got her for my birthday. So that is basically how Marnie Marie Winters came to be. Here we have Natalie K. Lang and she is a custom Truly Me 42 and um, she was actually in Forever and Always collection and her name there was Amber Brooke Dalton. But when I got her, I, you know, I wanted to make her mine, so I definitely wanted to name her something else. And, um, her name is actually quite interesting. <laughs> um, Natalie comes from Orange is the New Black. And, um, yes, she is named after Fig. She reminds me a lot of her, just, I think it's probably the hair, but, um, that's where it came from. Kay, um, I think it's very, it's a very cute name. Um, it's actually the first letter of my name, so, um... <laughs> That's kind of where it came from, I suppose. And Lang is actually the last name of my favorite actress, Jessica Lang. And I knew I wanted to use it, and I figured Natalie K. Lang just sounded so good. So um, that's where Nat's name came from. Here we have Be Forever, Mary Ellen Larkin, who I renamed Aurora Lynn Merriweather. And her name, I was, I'm still, you guys, I'm really torn on Aurora here because a part of me in the beginning, I wanted to name her Eleanor and I kind of still do. So her name could be changing. I'm not entirely sure because then I might have to change like her whole name. But anyway, Aurora obviously comes from Sleeping Beauty and she just reminds me of her so much. So I just, that's where I got Aurora from, and I'm a big Disney princess fan, so um, that's where her first name came from. Her middle name, Lynn, is actually my best friend's middle name, and my best friend is the one who picked out this particular Mary Ellen Larkin, so I had to go ahead and honor her with that. And then as for Meriwether, if you did not know, one of Sleeping Beauty's fairies, um, her name is Meriwether. So that's basically how Aurora Lynn Meriwether came to be. I still kind of, like I said, want to name her Eleanor. I'm, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it Aurora or should I change her name to Eleanor? It's still not too late, so let me know what you think. Here we have Be Forever, Nenea Mitchell, who I renamed Lucy Quinn Mitchell. I did keep her last name because I didn't really, I liked it. I honestly like the name Nenea. It's super, super unique. Um, for some reason, I just think she looks like a Lucy. And Lucy, uh, the significance behind that is the niece in Dallas. Her name is Lucy. However, they don't look anything alike. But Lucy has always been just a classic, really adorable name. It's not unique, but it does um, have the connection to Dallas. So I, um, I had to go for it. As for Quinn, um, it comes from Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. And um, Michaela Quinn is one of my favorite fictional characters of all time. And I know I wanted to use Quinn. I love that name. I was going to use it for um, someone's first name, but I just never got around to it. So I decided to use it as Lucy's middle name. Um, I think it's really cute. Very, very unique. Adorable. And so that's kind of how Lucy Quinn Mitchell came to be. Nothing too, too crazy on that one. Hey guys, I am sorry. I'm losing my voice. So hopefully it does not go out. But um, up next, we have um, Girl of the Year 2019, Blair Wilson, who I renamed Sophia Catlin James. I did keep her name Blair for a couple weeks, and then I was like, no, I just don't see it. All I'm seeing is, like, Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl, and I'm like, no, the red hair is just, it, that's not Blair for me. So I ended up, um, she reminds me a lot of Sansa Stark from Game of Thrones, and I couldn't name her Sansa. I just don't, I don't see her as that, so I went ahead and named her Sophia. And Sophia is in honor of Sophie Turner, the actress who plays Sansa. 
It is one of my favorite names of all time. Yes, it happens to be the name of my cat, but um, I guess you could say it's in honor of my cat as well. And um, her middle name, Catelyn, is actually another Game of Thrones character, um, Catelyn Stark. And then her last name of James is in honor of yet another Game of Thrones character, Jamie Lannister. So she, I was kind of really obsessed with Game of Thrones when I got Blair, so um, that's why I changed her name to Sophia. I was not going to put McKenna Celine in here, but her name is very unique compared to everybody else because I do have her first and middle name hyphenated and I use them both together. So this is Girl of the Year 2012, McKenna Brooks. I did keep her first and last name. As for her middle name, Celine, it is in honor of Celine Dion, one of my favorite singers of all time. Um, like I said, her name is hyphenated McKenna hyphen Celine. I think it's really unique. It sets her apart from everybody, just kind of like her hairstyle. So McKenna Celine is just very unique. Up next, we have the lovely Truly Me 83, whom I named Sienna Allison West. Her first and middle names are names that have always been on my, you know, favorite girl names list. Um, they're not really in honor of any particular person. Yes, I do know people um, with both names, but they're not really... Um, in honor of anybody. I just really love those names. As far as her last name West goes, um, it is in honor of my favorite General Hospital actress, Mara West, who plays Ava Jerome. And Ava is an absolute queen, so I did contemplate naming Sienna Ava for a little bit, but I was like, no, she's a Sienna. So in honor of Mara West, her last name is West. Up next, we have the adorable Zoe Brooke Chen, who is Truly Me 84. As for her first and middle name, they are actually after two separate American Horror Story characters from two separate seasons, played by two separate actresses. Um, they definitely do um, stay, stray, excuse me, they stray away from my theme of long, older, um, unique names, but I think they're really adorable. Um, actually, I do have a cousin with her middle name, so it's definitely in honor of her as well. Um, as for Chen, I think it's a very cute last name. It just fits her. Here we have Angel Nicole Newman, who is a custom Joss Kendrick that I purchased. And when I took this girl out of the box, I had that instant connection, just like I did with Penelope. And I knew that she had to be named after someone or something that was very um, special to me. And I figured, you know... Penelope is named after my favorite primetime family, so why not name Angel after my favorite daytime family? So her last name of Newman comes from The Young and the Restless, and her middle name of Nicole comes from Nikki Newman on The Young and the Restless, and as for Angel, it just fits her really well. Um, I just, I think she, she really looks like a little angel. Um, so her name is definitely really special to me. Um, she is my second favorite doll, so um, that's probably why. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can reach our goal of 100 subscribers. Give this video a big thumbs up and tap that really cool notification bell so you can know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye everybody.